Hey, Lifehouse Fellowship, I'm so honored that you have joined me on this 21 Days of Prayer and Fasting podcast. Get ready for an amazing journey of self-discovery, connection, and growth. It's all about setting aside time to reset and refocus. So let's dive in and support one another. And let's make these 21 days a period of positive change in every one of our lives. Here's to an incredible adventure together. Day 18. This week we're focusing on commitment. So let's open our hearts, surrender our plans, and embrace the wisdom that comes from recognizing what God wants to do and what he wants to say to us today. Grab your Bible. Grab a notebook and a pen, and let's get started. Day 18, a commitment to integrity. Oh, man, I couldn't wait to talk about this. Commitment to integrity. One of my buddies, he used to say, Jeremy, we do what's right all the time. And he says, we do what's right with all of our might. And with all of our might, we do what's right. And I, I've, I've always carried that. <laughs> he was a friend of mine. And he would say, we do, it, we do what's right, and we do it with all of our might. And with all of our might, we do what's right. <laughs> and really, that is a great definition of integrity. But I want to take you over into the Word of God, the Proverbs chapter 10, verse 9. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 9. I'm going to read it out of the New King James, and then we'll read it out of the NIV. It doesn't change much, but here we go. New King James. Ready? Read. He who walks with integrity walks securely, but he who perverts his ways will become known. NIV. Whoever walks in integrity walks securely, but whoever takes crooked paths will be found out. He who takes crooked paths will be found out. The word integrity is defined as the quality of being honest, having strong moral principles, maintaining consistency, in one's actions, values, and character. It involves adherence to ethical standards and a commitment to doing what is right even when no one is watching. A commitment to doing what is right even when no one was when no one is watching. I heard a story about a farmer. His name was Samuel. And he lived in a small village, and he was known for his unwavering integrity and honesty. One day, a neighbor accidentally dropped a bag of coins on the path near Samuel's farm. Instead of keeping the money for himself, Samuel picked up the bag and promptly returned it to his neighbor. Grateful for Samuel's honesty, the neighbor shared the story with others in the village. Word spread about Samuel's integrity, and soon he became a respected figure in the community. People sought his advice and trusted him with various responsibilities. Samuel's reputation for doing what was right, even in small matters, brought him not only respect, but also lasting friendships. In the end, Samuel's life demonstrated the enduring value of integrity and how it can shape not only individual character, but also the fabric of a community the fabric of a community. One man's integrity can shape the fabric of a community. One man's 
integrity not only affects his life and all that are close to him, but it can change how people see the places that you are involved in. I'm so thankful that I pastor one of the one, most wonderful church in in all of the United States, and that, and that is Lifehouse Fellowship right here in Midland, Texas. Some of the sweetest people you'll ever know. But one of the things I love about these people that I pastor are these people are full of integrity. I mean, they are they're some of the most integrous people I know. And even as a pastor, I found myself, because I'm in their midst, I find myself coming up higher. And I just, I just so thankful for these relationships in my life. But I know that these people that are full of integrity represent not only themselves and their families and not only the church they attend, but ultimately they represent the kingdom of God. When people talk about Christians, when they talk about you, do they say that is a person of integrity? Do they say, man, that guy, I can trust him. I can just trust him. I can even trust him with my wife. Or I can just trust him. I could I could trust my home to him. I could I could give him my ba- give him my bank account numbers and I know I can trust him. Can, can that be said about you? And, and I think the beautiful thing about what integrity represents is not only represents the blessing of God on our lives, that's the, that's the byproduct of integrity, but integrity really truly reflects on the kingdom of God. So if, if I'm able to make a difference in my own life because I'm a person of integrity, can you imagine what's going on in the kingdom when every one of us are people of integrity? Everywhere we go, we we swear to our own hurt and change not. We're people that do right and we do right with all of our might. And with all of our might, we do right. Let me tell you, that's a person that I want to be around. So today, I want you to focus on your commitment to integrity. Maybe you've allowed yourself to wax cold in in some areas. Today is the day to reflect where you can uphold honesty and transparency in all of your actions. When nobody's looking, when you're all by yourself, that's what I'm talking about. When nobody's around and it's just you and you have a choice to make, what do you choose? Do you choose integrity? I'm going to be a person that is full of integrity? Or am I going to ah, slip up this time? Oh, no, 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 no. Those are the things I want you to address today. I pray that you are a person that gets it right and you do it right with all your might. And with all your might, you do it right. Focus on your commitment to integrity today. I love you. And God is calling us higher. Let's make sure that we're really honest with ourselves when it comes to this. Amen. Let's pray. We thank you today that you never give up on us. (laughs) In areas of our lives where we've fallen short, Maybe I haven't been integrous or have had character in situations. Maybe I'm a liar. Maybe I I steal. Maybe I'm a cheater. Maybe whatever I am, Father, I, I, I pray that we would change today. Lord, what good is it if we fast and we pray and we 
but we're people that aren't integrous. May our lives represent you well. And the fabric of the community we represent, may it be one that says, I am a person of integrity. Lord, today we love you and we thank you. Lord, we know we're going to miss it. We know we're going to fall short. There will be times that we're like, missed it there. But thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your mercy. And so, Lord, we latch on to your mercy today. We ask you to forgive us. Lord, we're coming up higher. We love you. We thank you for your son. And we all said, amen. Hey, friends, remember, great days are here and greater days are ahead. God bless you.